Today, we are going to show you how to create customizable products within Zakiki. We will make an example of a t-shirt with standard variants such as different sizes and colors that customers can personalize. First, we go into our Zakiki back office to the administration panel and select customizable products and then add a customizable product. We then select your store and search for the required product. We can now use the wizard to create the product step by step in order to create our customized product. Zakiki pulls the product image from your store that will be used within the customizer. But if you are not happy with the image, you can change it. First, we need to set the full print area of the product to be personalized. This will ensure that Zakiki returns print ready files that are exactly the size you need. First, we need to take a real measurement of the product so that the print area is set to the image on the screen. All other measurements will be calculated from this. For example, this measurement on the real t-shirt is 35 centimeters. We can then use the shape tool to create the print area and draw it onto the product. We can create rectangular or square areas, we can make oval or circular print areas. Or we can use the polygon tool to make irregular shapes and resize them. We can also use a PNG mask to more accurately define the shape or create complex print areas. We can make as many print areas as you need. Now, let's make a single print area and position it within the product. You can see that because of the size we set of the product, the print area is automatically sized. So the print ready files will be 32.53 by 55.75. Once I'm happy with the print area, I can save it. Now, I can have as many sides as I like for my products, so my t-shirt can be printed on the front and the back. So the back of the t-shirt can be created in the same way. I can change the image file, set the print area, measure the back and then define the shape of the print area. So now the base product is ready, I can save that. As I showed you at the beginning, there are also variants for this product. I want my customers to be able to choose different colors and different sizes that they can customize. So I'll now add the variations. Now that we have size and color, Zakiki automatically pulls the list of attributes and options from your store. You can then decide which variants to import and show the customizer. In this example, the design on the final product is not going to be affected by the size. So it makes no sense for me to show the size within the customizer. I only want to show the different colors for the customizer to choose. So I select all the colors and I click on add variations. Now I have the same images with the same print area on all of the variations. You can see I have the black and orange variants and I have the front and the back sides for both variants. I can change the image for each variant or upload another image because Zakiki automatically 
uses the same image you have set up in the first step for all the variants. I can still change the print area for each side and each variation. This is mainly for those who sell products with different size print areas for each product size. In this case, the print area is the same for all the variants, so I'm OK with that. I just want to preview and then I can save and publish the products to the store. So this is a summary of the products we have created. OK, the product is now successfully published, so I can go to my store. and search for the product. And now, instead of having the Add to Cart button here, I have the Customize button because this product has been set up in Zakiki as a customizable product. And when customers click on Customize, the Zakiki Customizer is launched. Now I can see the product image I uploaded in the Zagigi back office. Now I am able to customize the product within the print area that was defined in the back office. I have the two sides and the two variants, black and orange. It is important to note that when the product is made as a customizable product in Zakiki, all of the customization tools get activated on the product. If you don't want all of the customization tools activated on the product, you can disable tools by creating a printing method from the Zakiki back office. Go to printing methods and click on Add Printing Method. Here you can see all of the different settings. Let's say we want our customers to only have the ability to upload images on the product. So I disable the text and I disable my own galleries. I only allow customers to add their own images. I'm fine with all the other formats. And I'm fine to allow customers to use the image filters. There's no need to select any fonts because I have disabled the text tool. And here I can choose the print ready files I prefer. So I'll choose SVG and PNG. at 150 dots per inch. I don't need any effects and I applied the new printing method on the product that they had just created. OK, the printing method is now saved. I can go back to my store, open the product, select customize and now as you can see I only have the upload button. And that's it. Thank you for your time.